I think it's good. I see you're out of minky there, Muskrat. I think that's good, though. Is that good? For me, The funny is. part is, last year, when I was trapping here, I had the same thing happen. I did catch the minky. All right, let me get another trap. That's one determined mink. That's one determined thing. Yes, it is. So hopefully it comes back for whatever is left. Coming from the back. I always want to leave it, you know, actually we could probably skin a muskrat, could, uh, remove it from the trap and wire it to something, but it's better if you leave it kind of natural. A lot of times I won't even move them. Yeah. Maybe we have the meat down here. I had a rat in that last one. That's a good feed bed there. trying to hide uh, what happened to him he's hiding there's different ways you can go so kind of her see his air bubbles right there Right there. Oh, and there's a trap. Let's put the kind of on his head. Well, that's not even a stop loss in there. I'm surprised I didn't ring off. Oh, there's a nice big one. Nice bat. If you look right here, you can see the feed bed. See the feed bed? Mm -hmm. I like to put them, see how you got this edge here? A lot of times the rats will hug this edge more. So, seeing it's kind of calm here, if it was wavy and windy and stuff, I'd probably have the uh, trap up by the water, but we're going to work it right down in the feed then. But you got to be careful not to work it down there too far. Okay. Then, then we have muskrat number two. Oh, there's one. Another one. They both do.
great mink traps. You get these double long spring number twos. I'm pretty low on it right now. Anytime I can find these views. Real heavy trap and it's real sensitive. If you look up here, they've been climbing up. Ooh. That's it.